beg for your forgiveness for this rude intrusion, but there's an angry wizard who... Move aside, you sniveling toad. Sovereign, I will have words with you. Under your lawless rule, one of your foolish subjects has stolen my book of spells. The value of that great tome is beyond measure. You and your realm must now pay a price for its loss. Until such a time as sufficient good deeds have been performed, I curse all the dwellers of this land to be as stupid as the dead. Hey everybody, Cypher Boy here with another um, episode of Majesty. This time I'm playing the Wizard's Curse. This is going to be like a tutorial type of thing. I'll explain how uh, you can be successful in the different um, missions you have to do. So here I'm placing down a uh, marketplace and then the rangers go for it to be built um, on the next uh, queue. You only get two um, peasants on the level 1 castle so you have to make sure you have them uh, work smartly which I did not do at this point I was doing um, A new building is complete. I should have done Your one building at a time rather than a bunch of them like that it needs more um, but you can see I researched the Tommen, healing potions that's what you want to do the first First thing you do when the marketplace is available, Highness, we've improved the guard and you want to make sure you get guard towers on, like in a triangle formation around the marketplace, your marketplace now so you can research you the arrows and then have um, the guard houses available to attack enemies. Here you can see a skeleton is going through. Here I'm increasing the minimum pickup that way. The tax collector does not waste time going through um, different um, houses. It was like five gold or whatever. Here I upgraded the rogue skill to level two. That'll allow your heroes to poison their weapons. And the ranger skill, the rangers are the fastest, one of the fast units before you can get the temples in level 3 castle so here you see um, researching arrows for the guard houses <clears throat> Replacing one right here. And then I'm leveling up Your the Highness, castle to level 2. When you do that, you get an extra tax collector along with two more peasants to help build, um, build the um, kingdom up. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. So if you were at level 1, and had the gnome hovel available. You could place those down and um, recruit three gnomes. Once you do that, it will have two random gnome hovels pop up just everywhere, anywhere. So you can have nine extra helpers with the building. They're not considered heroes though, but they can um, attack enemies. You can see the harpy there. As you can see there, the sewer popped up. Those pop up randomly along with your um, cemeteries whenever the um, heroes, too many of them die.
Now I'm just adding the minimum pickup again. That way the tax collector doesn't um, waste time on like the five gold houses. Here, the person is confused, so he'll probably end up going back home again. I join the wild spirits. I think this is the mission where um, your heroes get confused easily because the wizard put a curse on the kingdom until the spell book is found. Here, I'm upgrading arrows. Sovereign. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. There's no temples um, in this one. However, if there were, um, I would com recommend um, building up the Your temple de crypta, who you can hire priestesses from. And they'll give you extra fighters by creating a skeleton out of thin air. And if the map has any skeletons, zombies, or vampires, they can um, take control over those and have them fight for you. And you can also get the temple to crit, I mean, Fervus. They would take care of the wildlife, like um, the rocks, like the hot things. Um, rats, bears, wolves, werewolves, um, Medusa, all of them, they can um, take control over those when they get higher level um, for each one. So here I'm doing the guardhouse in the triangle formation around the marketplace. That way um, each side of the marketplace has two guard houses that can defend it from uh, enemies because the marketplace um, is one of the economic buildings that are targeted by enemies. Join the wild spirits. Your Highness, we've okay, improved so, the guardhouse. Um, accidentally paused the video there. Um, so, what else is there? Yeah, the creature dens and any um, enemy stronghold. You want to. Uh, take those out as soon as possible, especially if they're beside um, your kingdom. Sewers and cemeteries cannot be destroyed though, so keep that in mind. You just have to be able to defend against those entrances. But everything else on the map, um, you want to get rid of those to lower the enemies that you have to deal with. It'll make things a lot easier for you if you do that. Here I'm doing the blacksmith, um, once that is actually built, all the other buildings go down in price of cost so you can build more stuff a lot easier. And it does the double um, or triple duty I should say of equipping your units to get them stronger and also 
becoming an economic building where you can collect gold. And this one has three levels to it. Our new building is complete. Okay, you can see the peasants there going off to probably uh, try and rebuild or repair buildings. So if you had a protest from the Temple of Fervence, that bear here will not be any issue because they can take control of it and then the bear would fight for you. That's why I always go with the Temple of Crypta and Fervence because they work so well together and add in more units to um, fight for you. The other two temples available are the there's, I think it's Temple to Agrella, which provide um, healing units. And then the second one, I forgot what. Oh, I forgot the name of it, but those units are like super powerful because they're like monks. So they have like extra um, damage when they hit uh, other units. But I prefer the. Um, route of having a whole ton of units work fighting for you. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. So you can see the black guy there. That's one of the units that the Quotas cannot re uh, recruit. Um, I don't know why though. But the rest that come out of the sewer, they can be recruited. I guess another thing you can do is create a uh, triangle formation around the sewer entrance as well. That way there's three different guardhouses that could attack it at one time. As soon as the, the enemy pops up. Domain. I haven't done that before though, so I may try that to see how that works out. Same for the cemeteries. So here we get the Dwarven Settlement, which when that's built up, you can recruit three dwarves, and whenever any enemies come near their settlement, like a huge force um, fires at them. So they're more powerful than the individual arrows are from the guardhouses. That would be another thing, probably to, um, good to put near the uh, marketplace. The only thing is you have to be level, have the blacksmith um, leveled up along with the castle to level 2. And you cannot have any gnomes or any elves in your settlement because those three races do not get along with each other. So here I'm doing the explore flags, trying to get the heroes to go out and explore more. If you want to try this game out, it's on uh, Steam right now. My service ends. I have the CD version, so mine is the original from the year 2000, so that's pretty. I have the Steam version and the other one. I used to play the this game like 10 plus hours every day. That's how much I enjoy it. it the replay, replayability is really awesome because every time you play a, a different um, scenario, the map looks completely different.
here you can see all the creature dents and altars and stuff that's when you want to go after them and attack them and here's the point where my game froze so that's why I did this video as like a how-to type of thing and give you tips and tricks and stuff as I um, watch through the video so I hope you enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you later bye